total in point a when our body is fall uh, falling freely then at a point we had calculated total energy and we had seen that was equal to mgh now at points b and c also we have to prove that total energy is mgh this is ground this is a point from where an object of mass m is falling freely with the velocity u it crosses b point and then reaches ground at point c so velocity at point v is b and we have taken this point at a distance x remaining distance we saw is h minus x because total height was equal to h okay these were the things in me se koi doubt yahan tak to aap puch sakte ho and we had we had written total energy at point a sum of kinetic and potential energies so total energy at a point is sum of kinetic and potential energies so it was equal to mgh and we called it equation number 1 up till here we had done now uh, i told you to calculate total energy at b point we know its height from the ground it's okay but we don't know what is the uh, speed of uh, object when it crosses b point so first of all we have to find v the speed of object so using third equation of motion using third equation between points a and b let us use third equation of motion between points a and b okay what is that <clears throat> v square minus u square equal to 2 as okay your a is initial point so velocity here is u your b is final point so velocity here is b okay let us put the put in the values u is 0 acceleration is g for downward direction plus g and what is the distance between a and b because we are applying equation between a and b we are to take distance between a and b which is x you can see so we put the value here v square minus 0 square matlab only v square that is 2gx so we have found velocity at b point we have calculated velocity at point b now okay using this we can easily find kinetic energy at b point we needed kinetic energy we needed speed because we wanted to calculate kinetic energy at b point theek okay? hai so let us calculate energy at point b kinetic energy at b point is half m v square value of v square is 2 gx value of v square is 2 g x 2 gets cancelled so we get kinetic energy at b point m g x any doubt you can raise hand if any step is not clear so kinetic energy at b point also we have calculated that is m g x so many students are entering late now let's find potential energy at b point using the formula mgh but here what is the height of b point from the ground it is not h it is h minus x right so at b point potential energy is mg and what is h h minus x so that means we have also found potential energy at b point so see how we calculated kinetic and potential energies at b point kinetic energy by finding speed at b point first of all and how did we find speed by using third equation of motion so using third equation of motion between points a and b we find velocities here here 
Uh, v square is okay because in kinetic energy we need v square. So you don't uh, have to take the square root and find v. Okay, v square is fine. We put directly that value of v square here and find kinetic energy at v point. Then, since we know what is the height of point B from the ground H minus X, we have found potential energy also. So, what is the total energy at B point? Kinetic plus potential energies. Put the values. Kinetic is MGX and potential is MGH minus X. Open the bracket. X, MGX gets cancelled and we are left with again the total energy MGH. This is equation number 2. So at two points we have found that the total energy is same. Let us now check at the third point that we have taken on the ground that is at point C now. Pahle yaan tak dekh lo, koi doubt hai to put sakte ho. Okay, now when the object reaches ground, its speed is maximum. Let us say its speed is V dash when it reaches the ground at point C. So let us find the speed of the object at C point first of all. Again, we have to use third equation. But now we will use third equation between point A and point C. Okay, let's apply the third equation of motion now accordingly. Using third equation between points A and C. V square minus U square equal to 2 AS. Let's put in the values. C point is your final point. So what is the velocity at C point V dash? So here our final velocity is V dash. U is again 0 because initial point is A and their velocity is 0. Okay, U is 0 there. Acceleration is G for downward motion and what is the distance between A and C points that is H. So we get the value of V dash square that is 2GH. Okay, same way we get the value of V dash square also. Like we had found V square, same way we have found V dash square also. Dekhlo, your step clear hai? Now very easily we can find kinetic energy at point C. So let us write at point C. Kinetic energy at point C is half mv dash square. Put the value of v dash square that we have found equal to 2gh. Two gets cancelled. And uh, we get kinetic energy MGH. So kinetic energy we have found at point C. That is MGH, C. Is it clear? So let us write potential energy at point C now. Since it is on the ground, height is zero, so potential energy is zero at C point. So that means it is very surprising at uh, A point when the body started falling, it had all the potential energy. Kinetic energy was zero. But when it has reached the ground, where does that uh, potential energy go? Can it, potential energy is zero now. So all of the potential energy it had at that height is converted into kinetic energy that means. Because of maximum speed on the ground, the object is having maximum kinetic energy there. So whole of that potential energy is converted into kinetic energy. And if we take any point halfway, what will happen? The object will have half kinetic energy, half potential energy. So this thing you can apply in numerical problems, right?
Okay, so let us calculate total energy at point C. Kinetic plus potential energy. Kinetic energy is mgh, and potential energy is zero. So total energy is mgh at C point. Also, let us call it equation number three. So check all the equations. Equation number one, two, and three. In the end, you will write the comment. that from equations 1 2 and 3 we see that energy at all the points during the journey of a freely falling object is same so the law of conservation of energy is justified or the law of conservation of energy is verified theek hai so write this comment in the end write down from equation number 1 2 3 from equation number 1 2 and 3 we find that from equation number 1 2 and 3 we find that total energy remains same total energy remains same at all the points total energy remains the same at all the points during the journey of at all the points during the journey of a freely falling object a freely falling object so the law of conservation of energy is verified or justified so the law of conservation of energy is verified or justified law of conservation of energy is verified or justified any doubt from the derivation yes students any doubt if you have in any mathematical step you can ask yes aryan ma'am how uh, potential energy is zero in equation number 3 yes because the uh, c Where is our C point? That is on the ground, and the formula of potential energy is m g h. On the ground, height is zero, so we have substituted h zero here. M g h in place of h, we have put zero. So that's why potential energy is zero. Is that clear, Arun? Okay. Okay. Yes. Any other doubt? Rishikesh. Yes. Ma'am, one more. Ma'am, at C. Say it again. Explain. Okay. Look at C point. Pay when we want to calculate kinetic and potential energy. First of all, uh, to calculate kinetic energy, we should have speed here. So, how much speed will the object strike on ground? We should have speed here. So, how much speed will the object strike on ground? We should have speed here. तो उसको पहले कैलकुलेट करना पड़ेगा ना बिकॉज वी आर नॉट गिवन एनीथिंग तो काइनेटिक एनर्जी के लिए हाफ एम वी डैश स्क्वायर का फॉर्मूला लगेगा तो हमें स्पीड तो पता होनी चाहिए सो हाउ वी विल फाइंड दैट यूजिंग थर्ड इक्वेशन ऑफ मोशन ए और सी पॉइंट के बीच में थर्ड इक्वेशन अप्लाई कर रहे हैं वी स्क्वायर माइनस यू स्क्वायर इक्वल टू टू सो वी डैश स्क्वायर और यू कितना था जीरो था एंड वॉट इज द डिस्टेंस एस बिटवीन ए एंड सी पॉइंट वो तो टोटल हाइट एच थी so from here we get v dash square that is 2gh now we can find kinetic energy half mv dash square ye jo v dash square abhi nikala tha 2gh uski value yahan put kar di 2 2 gets cancelled and we get kinetic energy equal to mgh <coughs> kinetic energy dekh lo and then potential energy is zero because mgh is the formula of potential energy and at c point which is on the ground there is no height i told you any object lying on the ground will not have any potential energy if any object lies on the ground it will not have any potential energy because uski position hi nahi hai ground se koi position ke karan jo energy hoti hai usi ko hum potential energy kehte hain so its potential energy is zero so total energy is kinetic plus potential energy that is mgh plus zero so total energy is mgh is that fine और कोई डाउट किसी को यस एनी डाउट टू एनी बडी एल्स
चलिए नेक्स्ट आर टॉपिक लास्ट टॉपिक ऑफ द चैप्टर इज पावर वर्क एंड एनर्जी वी हैव डन नाउ लास्ट टॉपिक इज पावर एनर्जी क्या होती थी एनर्जी इज द एबिलिटी टू डू वर्क पावर इज द रेट ऑफ डूइंग वर्क पावर इज डिफाइंड एज द रेट ऑफ डूइंग वर्क अब रेट का मतलब क्या है एनी थिंग डिवाइडेड बाई टाइम है ना तो पावर का फॉर्मूला क्या हो जाएगा एनर्जी डिवाइडेड बाई टाइम और वर्क डिवाइडेड बाय टाइम ठीक है सो पावर मीन्स बी कंसिडर टाइम ऑल्सो टाइम इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन केस ऑफ पावर इन केस ऑफ एनर्जी वी डोंट कंसिडर टाइम एट ऑल हम ये देखते हैं कि वर्क हुआ है कि नहीं हुआ दैट इज एनर्जी बट वेन वी कंसिडर पावर वी सी कि इन हाउ मच टाइम द ऑब्जेक्ट हैज बीन एबल टू डू द वर्क कौन सी ऑब्जेक्ट हम किसकी बात कर रहे हैं मे बी ह्यूमन बींग ऑल्सो लिफ्टिंग सम वेट फ्रॉम ग्राउंड टू सम हाइट सो ही इज ऑल्सो डूइंग वर्क एंड in certain time if he is doing the work then we can calculate his power otherwise we can also talk about a device koi pump hai jaise for example water pump hai theek hai wo ground floor se second floor tak water supply kar raha hai water ko raise kar raha hai through certain height to us case mein bhi kya hoga what will happen hum uski power calculate kar sakte hain ki kitne time mein wo water ko lift kar raha hai so in such cases we need to have power and time is very very important so likhe definition of power it is the rate of doing work it is defined as the rate of doing work so that's why the formula of work will be formula of power will be work divided by time so the formula is p is w by t. formula of power is w by 3 ठीक है दिस इज w by 2 यस धैर्य मैं एक बार डेफिनेशन रिपीट करना पावर हां पावर इज डिफाइंड एज rate of doing work rate of doing work that is called power so the formula is power is work over time p is w by t ab aapko pata hai ki work aur energy equivalent hote hain to if we can write work over time we can also write energy over time okay so another formula for power will be energy over time also you can write energy over time as well अब क्योंकि आप W को वर्क को एम लिख सकते हो सो वी कैन ऑल्सो यूज पावर एज एम जी एच ओवर टाइम दिस इज ऑल्सो वन फॉर्मूलाजिंग इन अमेरिकल प्रॉब्लम सो देर आर डिफरेंट एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ पावर दैट वी विल बी यूजिंग इन अमेरिकल प्रॉब्लम और कौन सा फॉर्मूला था वर्क का वी हैड फॉर्मूला वर्क एफ एस ऑल्सो so if we put w is equal to fs if we you write w is equal to fs then we can also write displacement over time write time under displacement what is displacement over time that is velocity so this is one more formula of power force into velocity product of force and velocity okay it is also the product of force and velocity so p is equal to f into v this is another formula for power noted down we can use any of these expressions for solving numericals now si unit of power si unit of power is watt denoted by w named after sir james watt named after sir james watt okay si unit of power is watt 
like we say power of this bulb is 100 watt power of tube light is 40 watt so watt is the unit of power okay let us define one watt now if p is w by t let's write their units power ka unit watt hoga work ka unit joule hoga time ka unit second hoga so 1 watt is 1 joule per second so this is how we can define 1 watt 1 watt is the power of a device that performs 1 joule of work in 1 second matlab ek aise device ki power ko aap 1 watt kahoge that is performing 1 joule of work in 1 second write down the definition of 1 watt now 1 watt is the power of a device 1 watt is the power of a device that performs 1 watt is the power of a device that performs 1 joule of work that performs 1 joule of work in 1 second that performs 1 joule of work in 1 second Okay, fine. Some other units of power are. SI unit of power is what? Some other units of power are. Kilo watt. Kilo means thousand. Mega. Mega watt means 10 raised to power 6. Mega means million. Million means 10 raised to power 6. We have already done these prefixes. Giga. 1 gigawatt. Giga means billion. 10 raised to power 9 watt. Gigawatt is 10 raised to power 9 watt. And 1 horsepower. Horsepower is 746 watt. 1 horsepower is equal to 746 watt. Okay, now one more definition of electrical power. If this was mechanical power, अगर हम electrical power देखें, तो हम थोड़ा सा इसको modify कर सकते हैं. Electrical power is the rate at which electrical energy is supplied or consumed by a device. मतलब एक heater है, एक toaster है आपके पास, कोई भी electrical instrument है, तो वो कितने टाइम में कितनी इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी कंज्यूम कर रहा है या सप्लाई कर रहा है दैट इज कॉल्ड इलेक्ट्रिकल पावर ठीक है वो भी लिख लीजिए इलेक्ट्रिकल पावर ऑप्शनल है वैसे आप पावर को लिख सकते हो रेट ऑफ डूइंग वर्क दिस इज ऑप्शनल इफ यू वांट यू कैन राइट लाइक दिस आल्सो इट इज द रेट एट व्हिच इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी इज इट इज द रेट एट व्हिच Electrical energy is supplied or consumed by a device. It is the rate at which electrical energy is supplied or consumed by a device. It's the rate at which electrical energy is supplied or consumed by a device. So, this is ये आपकी इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी ओवर टाइम भी बन जाएगा इसका फॉर्म ठीक है एंड नोट डाउन द प्रैक्टिकल यूनिट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी व्हाट इज दैट प्रैक्टिकल यूनिट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी इज जाउल एज ऑल द फॉर्म्स ऑफ एनर्जी हैव द सेम यूनिट जाउल सो इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी आल्सो has the practical unit uh, joule, but commercial unit of electrical energy that is used for making electricity bill is called kilowatt hour. This is called commercial unit of electrical energy, kilowatt hour. 
जो आपके घर में इलेक्ट्रिसिटी बिल आता है उसमें हम कहते हैं ना इतने यूनिट कंज्यूम हो गए तो दैट वन यूनिट इज वन किलो वॉट आर वन यूनिट मीन्स वन किलो वॉट आर ठीक है तो नोट डाउन ये है कमर्शियल यूनिट नाउ व्हाट इज द रिलेशन बिटवीन कमर्शियल एंड प्रैक्टिकल यूनिट ऑफ एनर्जी लिखिए क्वेश्चन राइट द रिलेशन बिटवीन राइट द रिलेशन बिटवीन कमर्शियल एंड प्रैक्टिकल यूनिट ऑफ एनर्जी राइट द रिलेशन बिटवीन कमर्शियल एंड प्रैक्टिकल यूनिट ऑफ एनर्जी मीन्स वी वॉन्ट टू फाइंड रिलेशन बिटवीन किलो वॉट आर एंड जाउ सो लेट अस स्टार्ट वन किलो वॉट आर कैन बी रिटर्न एज वन किलो वॉट इन टू वन आर लिख सकते हैं ऐसे नो हार्म वी कैन राइट वन किलो वॉट आर एज वन किलो वॉट इन टू वन आर वन किलो वॉट किलो मीन्स थाउजेंड वॉट एंड वन आर इज थर्टी सिक्स हंड्रेड सेकेंड बिकॉज वन आर इज सिक्सटी मिनट एंड वन मिनट इज सिक्सटी सेकेंड So one hour is thirty six hundred seconds. What is one watt? अभी हमने define किया था one watt is joule per second. That is joule per second. Second second gets cancelled. So we are left with thirty six and five zeros. Joule. So one kilowatt hour. is 36 lakh joule or you can express in scientific notation 3.6 into 10 raised to power 6 joule this is the relation between very famous relation between kilowatt hour and joule so you can uh, get this question in the form of mcq also and proof also may be asked ki show karo ki aise hota so both ways you can do this is that okay so 1 kilowatt hour is 3.6 into 10 raised to power 6 joules 1 kilowatt hour is 3.6 into 10 raised to power 6 joules so have a look at this dekh lijiye so now your chapter is over only uh, we are to do uh, the exercise question only exercise is left now your physics syllabus is over so next time you will sit with your copy and do the exercise directly on it right is that okay students any doubts now from this topic you can ask chaliye write a question on power then i'll ask the answer next time likhe a question two persons a and b two persons a and b can complete a piece of work can complete a piece of work can complete a piece of work in one day and two days respectively in one day and two days respectively matlab jo person a hai that com he completes the work in one day person b completes the uh, work in two days theek okay? hai in one and two days respectively which of them question is which of them has first part more power first part hai which of them has more power and b part is which of them has done greater work which of them has done greater work which of them has done greater work theek hai to ye uh, find out its answer and we will discuss next time so by that time you complete your homework copies